this on screen big up my guy over at over and under absolutely amazing platform for streetwear and sneaker news and fashion and culture and everything else in between has shared this picture of an up-and-coming Pata and Nike Air Max 90 waves and it legitimately might be one of the greatest Air Max 90s I've seen in my life it legitimately makes my penis hard and I'm incredibly excited for it why do you ask because the Air Max 90 is one of my top five Nike trainers sneakers of all time in that category I'd put like Jordan 4s, Air Force 1, mids potentially. I'll put Air Max 90s, Air Trainer 1s, Hirachis. You know, those are going to be in my top five Nikes of all time. But Nike Air Max 90s have a very, very, very important part of my life because they might have been the first sort of sneaker within the streetwear sneaker world that I fell in love with when it comes to Air Max 90s. Those were the first, no, when it comes to Air Max 90s, those are the first model that I ever really was infatuated with back in the day. And I remember like, you know, there was a kid in school actually, um, who actually had money and whatever, and let me wear a pair of his Air Max 90s. He had like a black pair, and the black pair was all black with a silver swoosh, and he would sometimes wear them to school, but he let me wear them one time. And I was wearing them and, and I literally wore them into the ground until the point he said, look, just keep them. So I kept them. And then over time, they were obviously getting busted up because I used, I did everything in those things. I played football. I, I was out in school. I went to school discos in them. Then over time, they got busted up and I tried to kind of, you know, that's when I also got into sneakers super heavy. And I discovered this whole like custom sneaker thing where people back in the day used to like take the swooshes off of an Air Force One and replace it with like a piece of fabric from like Gucci or something, right? In the shape of a swoosh. So I decided to do the same thing on my MX 90s. And back in the day, I took off the silver swoosh on the MX 90s and I put like a little camo swoosh on it or something along that kind of line. It didn't look great because I did it with like, I think super glue or something. But regardless, like Air Max 90s have a special place in my heart because it's the first sneaker I really, really fell in love with. And I just love the shape. I think the shape is goaded. I think the colorways are fucking incredible. And I think it's one of those shoes, Air Maxes especially, that just looks great with shorts, trousers, jeans track pants like all over the place it's fucking incredible great design of a shoe and patter i've decided to apply the same wave model or the wave pattern the wave style that they have on the air max ones which i think was a genius design little change because imagine the air max one if i'm not mistaken the air max one that they did that on is an updated shape so it hasn't got the big bubble, which I, I prefer the big bubble Air Max ones, um, the 87s, right? Because that kind of obviously harkens back to the time when um, Tinker Hatfield kind of first designed them and the bubble was really, really huge. Then they had to kind of make the bubble smaller. If I'm not mistaken, they made the bubble smaller on Air Max ones and Air Maxes in general because back in the day when the bubbles were really big or when the window was really big and you could see more of the bubble, um, some of the bubbles would pop, would burst. So they kind of encased them in more PU, PU being the polyurethane midsoles to kind of keep the bubble or whatever, you know, encased and not popped. And I think they probably deflated and made the bubbles not as bouncy, as big as they used to be. Because back in the day, Air Max ones or Air Maxes in general, if you look at vintage ones online, you'll, <clears throat> you'll find loads of Air Max ones that have really fat bubbles. Um, but nowadays, not so much because, you know, they've, they're encased in PU. And I'd imagine, you know, most of them aren't just as fat as before. But I think that Air Max 1 that they did, the Pata Air Max 1, I swear on my life, I think that Air Max 1 is an updated shape. I don't know if that's true. I could be talking out my ass here. But I think that um, that Pata Air Max 1 wave is an updated shape because that silhouette looks really flipping nice. And I'm not too sure if they've done the same thing with the Air Max 90. Because it feels like they have, but I don't know if it's true. But I just think in general, the design, the little kind of change of the mudguard, instead of having it be, you know, the standard Air Max mudguard that's just kind of like flat, you basically got this wave design. It's absolutely amazing. I wonder where that wave design comes from. I wonder if there's like a something that they've taken from, I don't know, the same shape as the ri a, a river somewhere in Amsterdam. If this is something to do about the brand in general, I wonder where that wave design comes from. Because it's so iconic. It sticks out so much. Especially with the little swoosh at the front here. It's such a fucking crazy cool design. Such So so simple. But so well done. But I wonder if it actually... There's actually another Air Max. I forgot which one it is. That has the same wave design on the side. I think it might be like a... 
is it like a Terra? I forgot what kind of Air Max it is, but I'm 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 thinking on my mind now. I think it might be like an ACG or something. It's like a trainer that has a similar sort of wave design that I remember from back in the day. So I wonder if that's where it comes from. But regardless, the wave design is fucking incredible. And I felt like that Air Max one is an updated shape. I'm not sure if it is, but if it is, then I think they might have done the same thing with the Air Max 90 here. I think this is looks like a bit of an updated shape. But regardless, what I really do like about it is that if you can see from the midsole here, it looks like they've have um this is a aged off white type of midsole, or maybe it's been stripped and doesn't have the polyurethane. It looks like it's gonna crack a little bit to kind of give it a vintage look. I also like they've done the same thing with the toe box. It's not white, it almost looked like a silver type of colorway, which again reminds me of the original Nike Air Max 90 Laser Blues, which is what that colorway is based on. And those um, those ones had the, let me see if I can find it here, Nike Air Max 90 Laser Blue. The original Laser Blues, I think, had that similar sort of look to them. So they've taken the classic Laser Blue Air Max 90s, which is part of the original range, alongside the infrareds, and they've kind of updated it. Um, with obviously that kind of a wave mudguard design, as you see previously on there. And they've also given it... Uh, a little bit of a sheen so on the air max 90 as you can see the uh laser blue the toe box although it's white it has this nice little sheen going on there i'm not just sure how they uh, you know achieved that effect but that was what made them kind of stand out because you know even though it's, it's mostly white on the upper you got this different sort of hit on the front so they've kind of done the same thing with these they've kind of given it more of a dark tint here on the toe box um with the mesh on there which is really nice you got the white and and it's not really laser blue it's more like a I don't know, it looks like a purplish colorway, which again is another color. There's two colors. There's a laser blue Air Max 90, which I'm obviously in love with. And there's another Air Max 90 in a similar, obviously, same model, but different sort of hue that I remember. And I think that might have actually been a women's colorway, if I'm not mistaken, from back in the day. But either way, they've done a really good job with these. They've given them some nice um, off-white um, uh, laces that kind of match on the insole. This is also not even white. If I'm taking looking at it clearly, this kind of looks like a grey type of colorway here with the main body. Then you've got obviously the black mud guard. And then of course you've got the different colors here. And I think actually, if I'm not mistaken, the color on the midsole around the bubble is probably more accurate as to what the actual color is meant to be. Because I think this this color is probably a lot more easy to kind of sink into this PU as opposed to the plastic bits here. But regardless, really fucking nice. The black tongue, the patter hit on the tongue as well. Pata Air Max is fucking beautiful. Um, that's really nice. And yeah, I'm assuming these will come out fairly soon. I think next year. I think that's what the post says on here, courtesy of Over Under. We haven't got, yeah, summer next year. We're due to be getting these. I'm assuming there's going to be other colorways too. I assume there's probably going to be an infrared colorway. I assume so. There's probably going to be a whole pack of them. Um, you know, the infrared. Imagine if they would have dropped the infrared colorway first. I would have broke the internet, I think, man. That colorway is so fucking hard. MX90 infrared is like such an iconic colorway. Um, so I, I, I am all but certain this won't be just one pair. I'm all but certain this will be a, a, a collection of... Uh, It'll be a range of colorways, I'm assuming, and all harkening back to the OG MX90 colorway. So you'll probably get this. You'll probably get the infrared colorway. Um, you might get the women's one, which was like a peach plum. So you'll probably get that. You'll probably get a flip on this colorway, the infrared. I'm assuming will probably be done as well, right? Uh, as you can see there, that one right there will probably get done. And I think, and I think, and I think... They're also going to do this one, which is, this is my favorite colorway and one that I actually did get made in the Nike studios, the ID studios back in the day, um, because you couldn't get them in men's or it, I couldn't find them in my size. So I basically got them done on Nike ID. It's a women's colorway. That's like a pink. I forgot what the name of it is though. Let's see if I can find it. What the actual colorway name is. It was like a pinkish type of, oh, there we go. I found it straight away. Actually, I think it was two. It's this one here. That colorway there, you see. I think they might do this as well, maybe. I hope Pata do that anyway. That particular color, as you see there, that's got a little bit of the silver on the mud guard or silvery gray. It's got a nice blue swoosh, mostly white with nice pink pops around the tongue. You've got obviously here on the tip and some of the plastic bits on the top. But the one I'm thinking about is like a women's colorway and it's like a, is it like a royal blue? I remember I made them on an ID site. Oh, it's like a royal bluish. So it's kind of like the one I showed you above. But it's like a... Let's see if I can find... It's like a blue. Let's see if I can find it on here. 
It's like a bluish colorway. Blue, pink, blue. Was it salmon? I forgot what the name of it was. Oh. It was like a blue. Let's see if I can let's see if I can find the uh women's. Or maybe it was like a raspberry. Was it like a raspberry? Let's see if that was the one. Maybe it's raspberry red pink. Maybe that's the one I'm talking about. No, it's not that. It's definitely not that one. It was mostly white. If I find a picture, I'll probably add it to the clip later when I do eventually put this post back up again. But it was almost like a... Oh, that's the other pattern one as well. I forgot what the colorway was. It was so fucking nice. But I do envision those other colorways making it. It was like a women's colorway. Right? Women's... Let's do vintage. Let's see if that if that pops up anything. Uh nope. It doesn't have it here. I know what I'm talking about for sure. But oh, I think that might be it there. But no, no, I think that's the one I already saw. I spoke about that one there. But you you you'll see. Uh, but th yeah, there we go. That's one of them as well. I think that's it, isn't it? I think that's it. But I think that's the same one I showed previously with the with sort of silver bit there. But regardless, I think you'll see. Um, the infrared, the laser blues, and maybe an iteration of this I've shown the screen here, probably. Some of the, like, original Air Max 90 colorways coming out soon with these Pata 90. So, I can't wait for them to drop. No idea when they are going to drop in summer 2025, but that's the date there. Big up over and under for the news. Cannot wait to see them. Cannot wait to see them.